can't stand on one leg, three exercises to fix it. Hi, my name is Doug. I've been a physical therapist for 30 years and I specialize in balance problems and helping people learn to walk again. Are you having trouble standing on one leg? You're not alone. A lot of people have trouble standing on one leg. It really limits your ability to walk. A lot of times people that are walking with their feet too wide apart or who are shuffling are actually having trouble standing on one leg. In this video, I'm going to show you three exercises that can help you stand on one leg and improve your balance. To do this exercise, you need something secure next to you. You can use a table, the back of a chair, your kitchen sink. With one hand on that, you want to stand in the heel to toe position. That means you're one foot with your heel touching the toe of your other foot. Then you want to try to let go and balance yourself. You want to try to balance yourself for as long as you can tolerate without grabbing back onto that sturdy surface. You want to do it also with both feet forward. So first with the right leg forward and then with the left leg forward. Your goal with this exercise is to be able to do it for 20 seconds on each leg without holding on. Once you can do that, you don't need to keep repeating the exercise. But it might take you weeks, if not a month, to really build up to that level. Some people find this very, very difficult. And when they let go, they find that they're losing their balance quickly. If you're having too much trouble, you can also spread your feet apart one or two inches to make it easier in the beginning and then over time work up to doing full heel to toe. The second exercise is called step overs. To do a step over, you need something to step over. You can use a towel, you can use a line on the ground, or even an object. You want to have something nearby to hold on to, like the back of a chair, the countertop, a kitchen sink. And what you want to do is simply step over with both feet in one direction and then step back in the other direction. So you're going to go to the right with both feet and then to the left with both feet. You do need to leave yourself room for your foot to hit the ground. So if your right leg is coming over, you have to bring it far enough over that there's room for your left leg and vice versa. The goal for this exercise is to be able to do it three times in each direction without holding the countertop. But in the beginning, it's perfectly fine to hold the countertop the entire time. As you get better at this, you can let go more and more until you reach the goal of being able to do it three times in each direction without holding on. The last exercise is called weight shift. To do a weight shift, you need something sturdy next to you. You can use a countertop, a bar, uh, even the kitchen sink, something sturdy to hold on to. And what you want to do is put all your weight on one leg, bringing your other leg off the ground, and then put all your weight on the other leg, bringing the opposite leg off the ground. It kind of looks like you're dancing. You're going to sway to the right, sway to the left. It's very difficult to get your foot off the ground when you do it, so you might need to hang on to the countertop the first few times you practice it. But this is an exercise that doesn't really work unless you're letting go of the countertop. So Go as slow as you want, but you want to be able to let go of the countertop and bring one foot off the ground as you put all your weight on the other leg. This exercise helps you learn how to shift your weight. Most people who have trouble standing on one leg can't do it because they're not willing to shift their weight. So this is a great way of practicing weight shift without risking a fall. You want to have the countertop next to you the whole time, but try not to hold it. The goal is to do this three times in each direction, so to three times to the right and three times to the left. Now the reason these three exercises work is because each exercise helps you learn to put all your weight on one leg and balance over that leg. Now why is that important? Well, when you walk normally, you're supposed to put all your weight on one leg, which frees up the other leg to come out in front of you in advance. The problem is a lot of seniors don't do this and instead they bring their feet further and further apart or they shuffle. If you want to stop shuffling and stop walking with your feet so wide apart, you need to practice standing on one leg. But a lot of times you're not strong enough or your balance isn't good enough to just do that. So these three exercises help build you up 
so then you can start practicing standing on one leg. I really hope this video was helpful to you. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.